Hey guys, so I know it's been a while since I've uploaded my last video. It's been about like 20 or 21 days, which my last video I uploaded was like April 30th, so it's been a while. And I haven't actually sat down in front of the camera and filmed the video, so I might be a little off, but I don't have too much time to film this because, uh, like I also mentioned in the bookshelf tour, uh, my memory card, it's, I have a new camera, which if you can't tell the quality, I hope is a lot better. It takes forever to upload to the computer, but hopefully it's a lot better. This uses a special memory card, which is only like for HD. The video is quite long. It's going to be split up into two parts again. I have made a bookshelf tour before, and I'll link the two parts down below. Okay, so I'm just going to give you guys a quick overview of my entire bookshelf. Now, if you haven't seen my last bookshelf tour, which was about a year ago, I'll link that down below just in case you want to see it. But if you don't, it has changed quite a bit. Before, my bookshelf only went to about right there. Um, I still had this bookshelf up, I just didn't really have many books on it. I had more like DVDs and notebooks and other school things. Alright, so as you can see, I am kind of running out of room on my bookshelf. So I've extended my books a little out more towards the front. Now if I did get rid of things like this, then I would probably have enough room to fill up my bookshelf. But I like the character, the stuff kind of gives to my bookshelf, so I just leave it there. Now I am going to be in kind of a rush, as I am with most of my videos, but this new memory card doesn't allow for much time to record. This is City of Bones and City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare, Marked, Betrayed, and Chosen by PC and Kristen Cast, The Summoning by Kelly Armstrong, Soul Screamers Volume 1, by Rachel Vincent and Thirst by Christopher Pike. The only book in this pile that I have read is The Summoning by Kelly Armstrong, but I am looking forward to reading some of these this summer. Right next to it, we have Radiance by Allison Noel, or Noel. I never understood what those two dots at the top of her name meant. Then underneath it, we have Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs, Delirium by Lauren Oliver, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. Obviously, I am missing The Hunger Games. I currently don't have that one. Someone's borrowing it from me. But I have read these two, but I have not read these three. And this notebook is things for books that I should read. So I have a list of TBRs and things about my bookshelf that I need to remember. I'm going to move those to the side and tell you what's over here. All right, so over here, I have some of the Harry Potter books by J.K. Rowling. I have not read any of the Harry Potter books, and I don't own them all. So here we have Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Then we have Year 3, which is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Then we have Year 6, which is Harry Potter and the Half-Blooded Prince. And then we have Year 7, which is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Then right next to it, we have all my Stephanie Meyer books. So at the top, we actually have a picture that I painted, and I really did not like how it turned out. I am so in love with this quote, but I just did not like how I tried adding the pop of color, and it just turned out really tacky. But it says, We read to know that we're not alone by C.S. Lewis, and I really love that quote. I tried drawing a book or painting it. I thought that went pretty well considering I'm not a very good painter, but I love to paint. Back to the Stephanie Meyer books. We have The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner, two copies of the Twilight book in paperback, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn, and then the standalone book, The Host. Now, I have not read The Host, but I have read The Twilight Saga. I have two copies of The Twilight books because one of my cousins just left it here and she hasn't come back to retrieve it. And I've not read The Short Second Life of Brie Tanner, but I will get around to it hopefully soon. Then right next to that, we have Matched by Allie Condy, Fire by Kristen Kishore, Switched by Amanda Hawking, and If I Stay by Gail Foreman. I have not read any of these four books. Next to that, we have Shiver, Linger, and Forever by Maggie Steve Otter. Hush and Silence by Becca Fitzpatrick. I don't own Crescendo, but I have read it. Halo, Hades by Alexandria Adornentio. Unearthly and Haloed by Cynthia Hand. And Need and Captivate by Carrie Jones. I am in the middle of Shiver. I don't know if I'm ever going to pick it up again. Hush Hush I have read. I've also read Crescendo. I have not read Silence. I've read Halo and Hades. I've read Unearthly and Haloed. And I've read Need and Captivate. Then next to those books we have Prom Nights from Hell by these authors, which I'm not going to take the time to read all of them, but you can just pause it and read them. Beastly and A Kiss in Time by Alex Flynn. These are both separate standalone books. I've read Beastly. Absolutely amazing book. I have not read A Kiss in Time. Then we have Jinx by Meg Cabot. I don't know where the cover is to that, but I read it. Candy by Kevin Brooks, I believe was the name. If it's not, I'm sorry, but I got this at a used bookstore and it never had the paper, whatever, the cover to it. Then we have Evermore and Blue Moon by Allison Noel or Noel. 
She is the one who also wrote Radiance. Then we have Blue Bloods, Masquerade, Revelation, and the Van Allen Legacy by Melissa De La Cruz. I read Blue Bloods, Masquerade, and Revelation. I have not read Van Allen Legacy. I kind of got bored and stopped, and I never continued, and I read it so long ago. Then over here, we have Vampire Academy and Frostbite, and then Shadow Kiss by Rochelle Mead, and these are part of the Vampire Academy series. I have not read a single book in this series yet. Born at Midnight and Awake at Dawn and Taken at Dusk by C.C. Hunter. I love this series. I have not read Taken at Dusk yet. I'm going to reread Born at Midnight during the summer and reread Awake at Dawn and then finish Taken at Dusk. Moving on, we have Angel Burn and Angel Fire by Ellie Weatherly. I have read Angel Burn. I read it when it came out, but then Angel Fire, I haven't read. I forgot what happened in Angel Burn, and Angel Fire is a massive book. I don't have enough time to read it. Then underneath it, we have I'm Number Four and The Power of Six by Pydicus or Pydacus Lore, however you want to say it. Loved these books. I can't wait for the next one to come out. It's coming out in August. I'm going to get it right when it comes out and read it. Then we have Fallen and Torment and Passion by Lauren Kate. I read Fallen and Torment. I have not read Passion yet. Then next to that, we have my Nook in its Nook case, and it's broken at the current moment. All right, then next to that, we have Uglies, Pretties, and Extras by Scott Westerfeld. I have not read any of these books, and I am missing one of the books in the series, which I think it's the second one that I'm missing. And then underneath that, we have one through seven of the Nancy Drew books by Carolyn Keene, and I'm not going to go through and read all of them because I don't really have that much time. Underneath it, or in front of it, I guess, we have this toothbrush that I made in ceramics one year, and I have no interest in becoming a dentist, even though I think, you know, it's a great occupation. It's just I don't really like looking at teeth that much. Right next to that, we have Give a Boy a Gun by Todd Strasser. We have Siddhartha by Herman Hesse. Fahrenheit 451 by Ray Bradbury, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, The Giver by Lois Lowry. Sorry, I'm trying to get this to focus, but it's not. Then, underneath that, we have Leaving Jetty Road by Rebecca Burton, Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare, Lord of the Flies by William Golding, Of Mice and Men by George, or no, John Steinbeck, Hail Caesar by, this happened in the last one too, uh, this author right here. Tuesdays with Maury by Mitch Albom, Black Beauty by Anna Swell, Monster by Walter Dean Myers, The Secret Life of Bees by Sumon Kidd, The Book Thief by Marcus Suzak, Speak by Lori Hall Sanderson, and Night by Ellie Wiesel. I keep the books that I'm about to haul in the front of my bookshelf so I know I have to haul them later, but um, I only have one at the current moment because I haven't been buying books, so this is Remember Me by Sophia Kinsella or something like that. I, I recognize the author's name and she's the author of Confessions of a Shopaholic and I enjoyed that movie very much. So I decided to pick up that book and I would really like to read Confessions of a Shopaholic but I haven't gotten around to buying it yet. At the top we have The Red Queen's Daughter by Jacqueline Colosseau. Then we have The Lux and Rumors by Anna Godberson. We have the whole private series here by Kate Bryan. I'm not going to go through every one of those books because I don't really have enough time. Next to that, we have the Click series, starting from the book called The Click, all the way down to These Boots Are Made for Stocking by Lisey Harrison. I don't think I'm going to pick up the rest of the series, even though there's only like one or two more. But I read these books in middle school. I loved them. Then we have Alphas by Lisey Harrison, which is a spin-off book of one of the characters in one of these books. Above that we have The Lion Game, Never Have I Ever, and Two Truths and a Lie by Sarah Shepard. I loved these books and I'm still waiting out on the next book to come. Which Two Truths and a Lie has recently come out so I'm pretty sure I will be waiting for the next book for a while. Above that we just have a really cute little box which is from this papyrus or whatever card brand. I don't know, I love the cover. Then next to the Alpha books, we have my Gossip Girl books. So starting from Gossip Girl, You Know You Love Me, All I Want Is Everything, Because I'm Worth It, I Like It Like That, You're the One That I Want, Nothing Can Keep Us Together, Would I Lie to You, and Don't You Forget About Me. I am missing, I think, three or, f actually two or three more books in this series. I have read Gossip Girl through All I Want Is Everything, which is like the first three books. I have not gotten around to finishing the series. It's just kind of too long of a series to start at the moment. I know I'm making up excuses, but I am currently approaching finals, so I don't really have much time to read. Above that, we have my It Girl books. So we have It Girl, Notorious, Reckless, Unforgettable, Lucky, and Tempted. I read It Girl through Reckless, or no, Notorious. I think I only got to the second book. But 
Gossip Girl and It Girl series are all by Cecily Von Zagesar. She writes amazing books. Uh, they're more f very girly books, so I wouldn't really recommend them for guys.